A Memphis mother says she no longer has a home after it's consumed by fire and smoke when flames break out in her apartment. WREG's Bria Jones has more on the woman's frustration with the apartment complex and the challenges she's facing as she tries to recover. These screams sounded the alarm for 28 year old Evelyn Amro as she was rocking her seven month old baby boy to sleep Friday evening. I just heard people screaming, screaming, screaming. I just started panicking. It just was like I was in a movie. Their surveillance camera outside her home at the Getwell Point Apartments captured these large plumes of smoke filling the air coming from neighboring units. I grabbed my baby, grabbed him a blanket, and grabbed his car seat, and I just took him, threw him in the car, tried to come back up here, grab as much clothes as I can. Umbro says the Red Cross did offer a voucher, which allowed her to stay at a hotel and buy some new baby items, but she's now depending on family members for a place to stay. It's hard dealing with postpartum and then coming back dealing with this when you're just getting back on your feet. The fire caused severe damage to multiple units here at this one apartment building, but for Amro, she says it's the lingering smell of smoke that has her fearing for her child's life. Him not waking up, him having asthma, him having problems later on in life and breathing it in, me just standing in there five, ten minutes, it gives you a headache. She's also concerned about this large hole cut into her ceiling. I don't got a home and seeing my child, even though he don't know what's going on, it's just, it's hurt, it hurts. To make matters worse, she says she just paid her rent an hour before the fire and claims property managers are now giving her the runaround. If you can't have me a vacant apartment to stay in or another apartment to stay in, just give me my money back. Just give me my money back. In Parkway Village, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. Now I can tell you we did reach out to management at the complex, but have yet to hear back. We've also reached out to the Memphis Fire Department to learn how that fire started.